Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and yes, hello, I'm engaged. <laughs> but it is now my turn to pop the question <laughs> to my leading ladies. I need to ask them to be my bridesmaids and my maid of honor. And that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to bring you guys along with me while I make my proposal boxes. Unfortunately though, your girl is also unemployed. So, we're balling on a budget. A budget of about $10 per box. That's $50 total. I have five um, bridesmaids. None of my bridesmaids drink. So, I didn't think that it was necessary to put uh, any alcohol related items like champagne glasses or anything like that which does bring the cost down. So if you are on a budget, I recommend not doing anything alcohol related. And instead, I'm doing like a cozy fall theme. And I think that they are really going to enjoy everything that I put in here. And the other disclaimer is that I do not have a Cricut, nor did I really personalize anything in this box because that is when things get quite expensive. But I still think that it turned out so cute and I really hope that you guys can get some great inspiration from this. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. For the boxes, I found these 10 by 10 by 5 cake boxes at Walmart in the cake decorating section. And these were perfect because they are sturdy enough to hold everything, um, but affordable. They broke down to about $1.57 each, which is an amazing price. And then for the filler paper, I got this white set from Dollar Tree. I ended up putting two bags in every single box. Next, I'm taking these clear mugs also from Dollar Tree. I think they look so contemporary and high-end. And then two packets of hot chocolate wrapped in a cute little pink ribbon. And then I'm taking two paper pink straws because it just made it look a lot cuter. And then a toasted marshmallow scented candle, which I think went really well with the hot chocolate. And um, I got that at Dollar Tree as well. Next, I'm taking their favorite candy and this cute little notebook that I got for $1.50 at the 99 cent only store. For the maid of honor, I actually got her a white and gold version, but the bridesmaids, I got a rose gold version. And then some fuzzy socks, also from the 99 cent only store. Each bridesmaid got a different color, and for my sisters, whose box this is, I got her blue because that's her favorite color. And then her favorite candy are peanut M&Ms. Each bridesmaid will be wearing a different colored dress, so I thought that this slate bluish gray color will look great with every color and it'll make everything look cohesive if every bridesmaid has the same color of nail polish. And then I'm putting this cute little black and gold pencil. I just thought that the aesthetic was cute. And then these cards from Dollar Tree, which I thought fit the aesthetic and I just wrote will you be my bridesmaid and then on a paint chip with the color that each bridesmaid will wear I put save the date April 16th 2021 and then a cute little note um, that is private and personalized to each of my bridesmaids and then those other little small paint swatches are the other colors that the other bridesmaids will be wearing and then a little diamond shaped bath bomb also from Dollar Tree and then for the top of the boxes, instead of putting their names, I opted for these silver poster stickers. Um, I just like that they, the way that they looked, and I just put their first initial. So my sister's name is Ella, so I put an E on her box. And then I'm finishing it off with some pink tulle, and I think that this gives it such a fun, a glamorous look and um, it is also super cheap because you can get a spool of tool for about three dollars at Walmart. Now 
Next, I'm taking these tags, also from the same color that each bridesmaid will be wearing, um, that I made myself, and then a cute little diamond mini ornament that I got in the Christmas section at Walmart. So to make the tags, you just need a paint swatch, and I'm cutting the words off of these, and the best part is that these are free, and you just cut it so that it's a um, rectangle, and then cut two of the corners off at the top, and then hole punch for your tie to attach it, and bam, you're done. You can write their name, you can write bridesmaid, maid of honor. I am writing bridesmaid on this particular one and I am doing it with a thin sharpie and I'm just doing it in cursive and then to make it look like faux calligraphy or to make it look like calligraphy I am taking um, the sharpie and on the down strokes making it slightly thicker. I think this gives it a personalized and Pinterest worthy look and I'm really happy with the way that they all turned out. And here is what my maid of honor tag looks like. And for her box, just to make it a little bit different, I'm taking this blue tool and wrapping hers around in the same manner that I did with the other boxes. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I think that they turned out so cute even though they're not quite as personalized as I would like. I am planning on putting robes and uh, maybe some like champagne tumblers in their gifts that I give them on the day of because we might drink some little like virgin mimosas or something that morning and then um, wear our robes for photos and everything so they will have that it's just not necessarily something that I am going to do right now I think in the proposal box you don't really need to get super like bougie with it um, especially if you are on a very tight budget like I am but you can still have fun with it you don't have to not do proposal boxes just because you're on a budget so I hope that this video really helped you guys and you can definitely expect to see more wedding related content from me in the next few months as I plan my day I have a lot of budget-friendly um, great ideas coming towards you guys so if that sounds interesting to you and you are also planning a wedding on a budget then be sure to subscribe um, and like this video it really helps with my engagement and it's completely free um, and comment down below what your favorite thing in these boxes are or if you're going to take any of these ideas into your proposal boxes and I will see you guys next week bye